Commenter, this is the um, presentation of the assignment given to us on computer fundamentals, presented by Akafwa Deniki Olayenka, matric number EAA 2060. The first question given to us was compare and contrast Harvard class architecture and non non Newman architecture. For Von Newman architecture is a digital computer architecture whose design is based on the concept of stored program computers where program data and instruction data are stored in the same memory. While that of Abbott class architecture is a digital computer architecture <coughs> whose design is based on the concept where there are separate storage and separate <coughs> buses for instruction data. Sorry, excuse me. We're told to compare, to contrast. <coughs> for contrast is the one, one, one Newman architecture is simple, while the other one is complicated. I also have diagrams to illustrate, excuse me, I also have diagrams to illustrate the differences and for comparison, it's similar, it has a similar way they access their memory. The question number two, what do you understand by the CPU? <coughs> excuse me, what do you understand by the CPU operates sequential in von Neumann architecture? In the von Neumann architecture, the CPU operates sequential. It does fetch instructions. It decodes. <coughs> it compares instructions and stores it also. Thirdly, we're told to um, what is meant by the integrated circuit. Integrated circuits can also be called chips and or microchips is a semiconductor waiver on which thousands of mi millions of thin resistor capacitor or transistor are fabricated. I also have um, a diagram to illustrate that. Shortly, excuse me. Well, well, what are the various classifications of integrated um, circuit? We have small integrated um, small scale integration under the small scale integration it has less than 100 components while we also have the medium scale integration where we have less than 500 components or we can say that we have more than 10 um more than 10 or less than 100 gates also, we have the large integration, large scale integration, which we have a component between 500 to 3000. Or we can say we have more than 100 gigs, which also with um, um, a diagram to illustrate it. We also have a very large, very large scale integration in it, which contains more than 30,000 components per chips. Our fifth question says that we should describe the flying geometric of computer with appropriate diagram. We have a simple instruction. We have an SISD, which is called a simple instruction, simple data system, which will have a data pool, can get instructions to your processor and also instruction pool. We have, um, secondly, we have the simple instruction, multiple data with all the, with the diagrams. We have the data pools, which can get, um, we, we can get a lot of processors together. That means it has the capacity to execute the same instructions on all the CPU, but operating in a different data stream. We also have multiple instruction, simple data, which is the MISD. MISD is the com computing of systems in a multiple processor machine capable to execute different instructions on 
<laughs> on the processor. Also, fourthly, we have the multiple instructions, multiple data, that the MIMD. MIMD has the capacity to execute multiple instructions, multiple instructions or multiple data sets. Fifth, Six, we are told to say what is the difference, what is the difference, then if you did, let me show my brother, then let me share a spot to me. Let me show my brother. I'm sorry. Let me show my brother. So, sorry for the break in transmission. The network here, it's bad due to NEPA. Sorry. Um, then sixth question was, what are the differences between the analog and the digital systems? And we have so to state the four, four examples to illustrate that. So for analog, for analog computer, we have, uh, it works on the continuous signal. Why for digital works district um, signal? We also have on, uh, for analog, it's kind of slow in terms of speed, while digital is very fast in terms of the speed. And um, it's, it's a bit difficult to use the analog while it's kind of seamless and easy for a digital, for a digital um, computer. Examples of that we have analog, analog, um, uh, like um, your speedometer for your for your cars. We, we see those all uh, often, and also um, we see it in the hospitals for taking vitals and all your treatments and all that. Also, for digital, we have examples of digital is your computer that we all know now that we've been using. We have um, our smartphones that we use now. That's kind of... Sorry about that. Just rounding up. We have issues with... Um, internet i'm very sorry about that so on the digital computer like i was saying we have our computers that we use now we have um machines that we use in testing our high blood pressure stores are details too um we don't use the old system anymore we have our android phones thank you very much for this um experience in the class and with i thank you also for the for the shared knowledge you shared on the last um, class. And also thank you for the assignment, for letting me have a broader knowledge and insight on the fundamentals of computer. Thank you. And when I really you have to pay for a contract, you have to be sure that okay, you have to be sure that 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 you